Happy Saturday, friends. So here's the tea. Here's what's going on. I am getting ready because my cousin's about to come pick me up and we're gonna go to Bend, Oregon, which I went there this summer with my best friend and her boyfriend and it was really fun. But now we're going, a couple of my cousins and a bunch of my cousin's girlfriends and they're really fun. So I'm really excited. Um, it's gonna be like a little birthday celebration, but I just thought it would be fun to bring you guys along the next few days in my life. And this is gonna be part of that. So Bend is beautiful. I'm hoping I can show you guys like some scenic shots and we're gonna do a little road trip. We're also gonna stop to get coffee first at this place I've been wanting to try for a while. So I just kind of wanted to document this and I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along. So if you're excited and you wanna see more videos like this, just me picking up the camera, sharing life, totally unplanned and then make sure to like down below leave a comment to let me know if you want to see more videos like this and also subscribe if you haven't already So it looks like I'm taking a lot for two days and I am, but it's not all mine. So I have this bag, which has all my clothes, my big old jacket, cause it's gonna be snowy over there. And I also have this bag. I'm taking a couple of glass vases for flowers. Cause that's gonna be part of the decorations. And then I also have like three games in here and a big chip bowl. And then obviously the birthday gift. Wait, why do you look like you belong here? The vibe? <laughs> Such a Portlander. Thank you. Oh my god, I love that. Wait, what is that brown one? Birthday girl made it. I did. about the jumbo biscuit and gravy how big is it oh okay never mind wait the bagel with smoked salmon dip is that like cream cheese with salmon okay i'll do that instead and then i'll do the two eggs over medium that'll be it for me and then i'll do the jumbo biscuits and gravy cheers happy birthday and then the other half is it's a mess. So just wanted to show you guys because I didn't bring a hairbrush. So my hair is literally a mess and using my Dyson just helps to like tame it, you know? But anyway, good morning. I don't really know what the plan is today. I think we're gonna maybe go for a little hike, which is pretty exciting because I haven't done a lot of winter nature things. Also, this place is beautiful. My cousin definitely selected a really nice house. Also, the house next to us is so freaking nice, like dream house. And they have such a nice like patio. I kind of want to show you guys a little clip because obviously I don't know like if someone lives there or if it's another Airbnb, but it kind of gives 
me an idea of how I want to do the patio in my backyard. So that's pretty cool. I might just take a photo to like show the contractors to see if they could do that. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then we still have to pack up and get out of here by 11 a.m. So. Guys, it's crazy. This place is so freaking nice. Like, check out this house. Honestly, living in Oregon, it would be such a dream to eventually get a big, well, this would be like my dream forever type of home. But do you see those windows? Those windows right there. Like the fact that it's just like a wall of windows and you open up your living room and you just get to see like this beautiful lake river situation. It is so nice. They even have like a little swing bench where you could sit. Oh my gosh. This is, this is that bougie lifestyle. And I was looking at prices in this neighborhood. Guys, it's actually crazy. Two million dollars, which I don't understand. To be honest, we're still in Bend, Oregon. Like, what the heck is in Bend, Oregon? Like, you're four hours away from Portland and like the city and all that. But anyway, I guess it is kind of a dream to live here. It's quiet, it's quaint. You get some land, you get a beautiful house. What more could people want, I guess? This honestly just gave me the idea to put one of these like swinging benches on the hill in my backyard. I think that would be so cool to like be able to just walk up there, and pretty much sit at the top of the hill. And and like swing and see all your plants and stuff that would be pretty cool for the future i don't know but man the fact that this overlooks like this calm peaceful place it's so cool I'm gonna try to read 10 pages of a book while I'm here because I'm reading this book and I'm also just trying to read a lot more in 2024. Oh my gosh, it's kind of cold, but it also feels really good. And I kind of wanted to test out my jacket to see how warm it is and if I'll need more layers since we're gonna be hiking outside later. So I think this will actually be perfect. But yeah, I'm currently reading this book called One of Us is Dead. And it was definitely a book talk recommendation because I was asking my friend Jenna, like, I don't know where to get recommendations for books or what I want to read next. And I love thrillers psychological thrillers and I just didn't know where to start so far it's been pretty interesting that's what I'm gonna try to read a little bit of this morning Look who's out here swinging. You did your makeup. You look so cute and I did her hair with the Dyson. She looks so good. We're gonna take some photos and then head out. We're taking more photos. This one is the toffee, what was it? Cooler. It's so good guys, try this. Why do you have a stick, Odi? It's my walking stick because like my legs hurt. Thing. We stopped real quick at the Human Bean and we got this green tea matcha latte for Odi. And we got these huge ass energy drinks. I got this like sugar-free energy drink. She got this really cool looking galaxy drink. Hey friends, happy Monday. So as you saw, this weekend was so much fun. It was so fun to celebrate two of my cousins and to just get away to Bend, Oregon. Yes, it was a three and a half hour drive, but it was so, so freaking worth it. It was so much fun. And it was so nice to get away and be in nature. It's always so relaxing. And then when we got back, my dad picked me up from my uncle's house and we went to my parents' house. It was like a little family dinner and it was much needed. I feel like I haven't seen my parents. Well, I saw them last week, LOL. But we haven't been to their house in a while. So it was really nice to just go and hang out for a bit, even though I was so tired from the weekend and like the long drive. But you know, every time you go to your mom's house, 
She always gets you like a little bag ready to bring home. So she did that for me and I need to unpack that after I work for a few hours. So today I'm going to be working. So it's a little work day in my life. I think my friend's gonna come visit me during lunch, which is exciting. She hasn't seen my house yet and we're gonna catch up and that'll be nice. But with that said, time to start my work day. I'll catch up with you guys later. So my friend Ellie is going to come over in a couple of hours just to like catch up and eat lunch together. But I'm taking a quick little five minute break to just like put away the stuff that my mom gave me yesterday and I just need to stand up and walk away from my desk because sometimes you just need to step away from the desk. But listen, my mom is so cute. So gave me a bunch of limones, um, serranos, cebolla, some sweet potato and potatoes. And then my dad gave me this like pre-workout stuff <laughs> that he got from Chuck Norris. My dad is like the person who's most likely to buy something on the as seen on TV ads you know she also gave me some rice and some red potatoes because they're the best you can't go wrong i also kind of snagged her little tote bag which is like so perfect for grocery shopping this is so cute she gave us a coke which i think i'm gonna save for game night and we don't really drink just regular soda on a weekly basis it's gloomy outside i'm so tired and my brain is just not fully there i feel like I wanted to do like a little exercise, but I obviously can't do that on my lunch since I'm gonna be hanging out with my friend when she gets here. So I think I'm going to try to work out after work. So I'm saying it here now so that I can hold myself accountable. Okay girls, we're gonna get a little workout, a little move in, move in, a little movement in after work. I recently tried doing like a beginner boot camp, and then I'm just using three pound weights because I can't really lift still and I'm still healing my neck and back. Still in constant pain. However, every doctor I've talked to has pretty much told me that I need to kind of push through the discomfort and just get some movement in. So that's what I'm gonna do. And they all just say to listen to my body that they haven't given me any clear directions, which is why I've been so so hesitant to just start working out again. And they all just tell me to move, but they don't really tell me what to do. So I'm excited to see my physical therapist for the first time tomorrow. And I'm gonna ask them all these questions like, you know, what movement is safe versus what's not safe. So I'm gonna continue to do like very light weights, only do movements, you know, if I feel a little uncomfortable, but if I start to feel any kind of pain, I'm just gonna stop because, you know, we're trying to heal. I'm not trying to prolong it. Wait, why did I put the potatoes in the fridge? I swear y'all, my brain is not fully there right now. Okay, everything's put away. Now let's get back to work. I just signed out of work. It's already dark outside, of course, but now it's time to put on a t-shirt and some workout clothes and try to get a little workout in. I already canceled my gym membership. I don't know if I updated that on the vlog yet, just because I can't really lift heavy or drive myself to the gym. But I hope to sign up again after I'm like fully healed again so that I can take all of their really fun classes and start lifting again, because I'm definitely gonna need to build some muscle once I'm all healed. But Anyway, let's find a little outfit to work out in and head down to my little home gym setup. I don't know if y'all can even see me right now, but my house is so dark and it's literally 5 20 p.m. How crazy is that? But that's not gonna stop us. Let's head downstairs. So I just turned on the Peloton and now I'm gonna turn off the lights because I feel like that's just that's just the vibe for these after work workouts. Oh yeah, definitely the vibe. Y'all ready for the top party? Two to four on SB, let's go. killer. 
water. <laughs> I did a 30 minute hop walk and then I also did an extra 10 minute hike and then a five minute cool down stretch and I am very sweaty, but it's 6.30. I'm feeling it, but I'm excited because I'm feeling pretty good. I think that walking slash hiking really helps, whereas I might not be ready to do the boot camps quite yet. I'm just gonna wait to see what my physical therapist says, but I'm glad I feel good after this. I still feel like pain in some parts in my body, but because I'm warmed up, I feel like more flexible and I don't know, less stiff. So that's literally what my doctors have been telling me that in order to heal, I'm gonna have to be uncomfortable and sit with the pain that I just always have. Anyway, let's head upstairs. Mm -hmm. 